Hey, it's Brian Johnson, and you're watching a multi-part tutorial on launching WordPress in 2014 and beyond, specifically to take advantage of some SEO strategies that will help you to drive more traffic, get better results. This includes video sitemaps, using Google Plus authorship to uh, enhance your listings in Google, as well as tweak your site uh, performance so pages load very fast. This is very important in 2014 and this in-depth tutorial as I mentioned is a multi video tutorial. You can learn more at my website marketingeasystreet.com. Now this is video number four I believe four or five and I'm gonna walk you through what to do after you've installed your website. Now as you can see uh, uh, the website that we're working on right now is actually called buildingahouseblog.com and it's the website I'm launching with uh, the purpose of really just um, journaling or video blogging the progress of building a custom home as we move through the process my wife and I and I thought what a great opportunity to show people how I'm gonna configure the site the plugins I'm gonna use and whatnot now we've just installed WordPress and we have some issues. As you can see, we've got some content, hello world, uh, that is, is found on every single website. We want to delete that. We also have a comment. It says one comment. It's the default comment that comes pre-installed. We want to delete that. We've got a sample page with some gibberish. Okay, this is an example page. It shows up across the web for lots of sites that are never taken care of. So you want to log in right away and delete those. So let's go ahead and do just that. I'm going to go to my dashboard and you can see here I've got the steps uh, listed on the site Marketing Easy Street. So just visit Marketing Easy Street and access the post on WordPress optimization for the search engines. <clears throat> and we're going to delete Hello World post. We're going to delete the sample page. We're also going to delete the sample comment. <clears throat> now before we do, do that, I want to show you this blue, or I'm sorry, this blue, this yellow bar here. This yellow bar is always present anytime your site is out of date with WordPress. Now this version is 3.6 and the most recent, recent version is 3.8. So to update, all I need to do is click this link and uh, click update now. So WordPress will go ahead and update. And it looks like we are all done and it's redirecting back to our dashboard. There we are, WordPress 3.8, we are taken care of. Now what I want to do is I'm going to access all posts because remember we've got some stuff we need to take care of. We need to configure this site right away as soon as we launch it. So when Google comes by they index our content not content that's found installed across hundreds of other websites and there's, other, some, there's also some additional configuration that needs to happen to ensure we're search engine friendly. So hello world we're going to go ahead and send that to the trash now we're going to come down to pages and we'll see sample page we're going to go ahead and send that to the trash next we're going to come down to comments and I don't see any comments so that's good let's go ahead and check on this toolbar icon here it says two okay and here we go um, these are the two themes that we have uh, that we can install 2012 and 2013. Now I actually like these themes, they're, they're pretty decent but like I said we're gonna install a custom theme and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Before we do that I wanna take you through some of the settings. Let's go to general and see uh, first off here's the title of our blog okay. Now I'm gonna show you how to uh, create a custom title as we move forward and we need to change or remove the tagline and again this is found in settings and in general so I'm going to remove this because I don't want default content that shows up across multiple hundreds and hundreds of sites so I delete that and we want to make sure that this address is consistent so we're always going to link to our site with the site address notice there's no www I don't uh, suggest you use a www you, you could go like this and it would work but Keep your URL as short as possible. You've got your email address, okay? 
select your date, time format, save changes, and we're good to go. Next, we're going to come down to writing, and you'll see we have uncategorized category. That's not so great. We need to have some categories that are based on the subject of our site, and I'll show you how to do that and add categories as we move forward. We also have uh, the default post format. Just keep that as standard. That'll be fine. Updating services. Lots of people talk about pinging, pinging and what, whatnot. Here's what I'll tell you. Once you launch a site in uh, 2014 and beyond, Google's going to find it pretty darn quick. This simply takes server resources. It's more work for the server. And instead, I'm going to delete it. And what that's going to do is help improve my performance of WordPress. And another thing we're going to take a look at as we move forward with this in-depth tutorial of leveraging WordPress is we're going to uh, create a very fast loading website and by deleting this it's going to help us. Don't think pinging crappy websites is going to help your site perform better in the search engines. That's ridiculous. You don't need to ping so Google's going to find you. They're going to find you regardless. Okay. So let's go ahead and save changes and then we'll come down to reading show blog pages at the most, that's 10, that's fine. That's the amount of posts or pages that show on your homepage. Syndication feed, 10 is fine. And uh, for uh, articles in the feed, we're gonna select summary. Go ahead and click save changes. Next, we're gonna come down to description or discussion. And I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, set this to Default settings. The media is again set to default, so I'll save changes. Now the last one, permalinks, we're going to want to change this. Notice here we have a question mark, right? Right there, a question mark that is in the page address or page URLs of our posts and pages. And it's also based on a numeric system. This is called a dynamic paging system and it's not as search engine friendly and notice it doesn't contain any keywords so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select post name it'll take care of it for us and we're gonna click simply select save changes don't create a category base don't create a tag base we're not gonna use tags when we post it's just gonna create additional pages that Google could find and create a duplicate penalty issue. So simply select page uh, or post name and page name, select save changes, and we're good to go. Okay, so at this point we've deleted some information and we've added the site title. Now what I'm going to talk about and walk you through is addressing the AdWords keyword planner. And if you basically click this link here, click this link here, it will take you to the AdWords page and this is really helpful as it once you create an AdWords account, it's going to let you log in and use the system and use what's called the keyword planner. So here you can see this is my account. This is some very some very old AdWords account. I don't really use AdWords, but I get access to some tools. I'm going to select tools. I'm going to come down to keyword planner, and I'm going to show you how I use this uh, keyword planner to determine my site title that's based on keywords that people are actually searching as well as the categories that I'm going to use. I'm going to select search for new keywords and ad groups. Now this is perfect. This is really awesome because I can think of as an, an ad group as a category. Um, so I'm just going to select build a house or building a home and I'm going to select get ideas and when I do what Google is going to do is going to suggest different ad groups and really they're keyword phrases that are bundled together in kind of categories and we can see here if we put my mouse over the keywords you can see this is these are keywords that re relate to how to build a home so we have how to build a house building a house, building a home, all different types of keywords. So I might want to jot down um, this, say a keyword phrase like build a house or build a home would be one great um, category. Now this is a, another group of keywords that are bunched together 
and would create a great category. And these are all based on cost and expense and whatnot. You can see we have cost to build a house, cost of building a, ho a home, etc. Now, I've gone ahead and I've gone through this and I've looked at all these um, groups or categories of keywords, and this is what I've come up with, okay? Um, I've got the title of my site here, and the title of my site are, are based on these keyword phrases, how to build a home and building your own home, or I'm sorry, how to build a house and building your own home. These keywords have respectively 8,000 searches a month and 2,900 searches a month. And I'm gonna, I've gone ahead and I've taken those two keyword phrases and I'm gonna uh, create my title for my site here. So to do, to do that, I simply come back to the dashboard Come to settings and then click on general settings. So settings, general, and I've added my site title here. That is this, okay? And again, these this site title is based on two uh, keyword phrases that are used often and most describe the website I'm gonna create. Next, what I've done is I've created some categories based on the AdWords keyword planner that I just showed you. So just like I showed, we have Build, building a home, custom home plans, cost of building, dream home, etc. So I'm simply going to take these and I'm going to go back, I'm gonna get, get out of this, I'm going to come here and I'm going to come back to the dashboard and I'm going to create some categories. Okay, uh, 3.8. Uh, categories in WordPress 3.8 can be accessed under posts. So we're going to um, access posts and then categories. And we're, what we're going to do is first we're going to edit this category with our most popular or most targeted keyword phrase, which is going to be building a home. And I'm going to select ready uh, next. Now I'm going to add new uh, categories and I've got them all listed right here. So I just save these to a notepad file and I'm posting them here to show you. And this is how I recommend that you go ahead and you add uh, your own categories. You can see they're being added right here. If we edit this, you'll see the slug is actually the address is the same keyword phrase. So custom home plans, we have custom underscore home underscore plans. That's good. I'm going to go back to post and categories and I'm going to just simply add these here. So I'll just go ahead and I'll drop these in. This, this is our cost of building. Okay, and you can see these are creating nice keywords. Now I want to mention I spent uh, a total of uh, maybe five to 10 minutes gathering these keywords, and that's all I really recommend you do. You don't need to spend a ton of time. The idea is to get the general idea of ad groups that Google uh, provides you, and then use those ad groups as categories. And then later, you can, uh, let's say you wanna add some content, you can look at your categories and say, well, uh, I have eight posts in building a home, and I have two posts in custom home plans, but I've got a category I created, which is cost of building, and I have zero posts. So I'll create a post on the cost of building, and that way you'll kind of add multiple categories based on keywords that will help you with uh, LSI, which stands for Latent Semantic Indexing, and that's a fancy term, which means different types of keywords and phrases that all uh, are based on one another, okay? So don't get too hung up on it, you know? Don't spend too much time. What's really more important is really um, creating great content. So I'm just gonna continue to uh, I'm gonna create this as floor plans. So I'll just hit enter and it gets added, floor plans. And another one is design your home. So I'll come in here and I'll just type in design your home, enter, and we're good to go. Custom home builders, okay. 
enter. And we have two more home design ideas. And the last one is dream home. Now, why this is great to do, like I said, is it gives you ideas of the most popular types of keyword phrases people are searching for in a subject, and then you can just go off and create information, posts and pages based on these keywords, and you uh, will be really creating a well-rounded site that covers a number of different top sh uh, topics that people are interested in, in the topic at hand, okay? Okay, now next, what I'm gonna do in the next video is I'm gonna walk you through uh, theme selection and some things you might wanna think about when selecting a theme for your site. You can see right now, if we um, come back to our site, and I'll just click on Visit Site, it'll open up in a new tab. We still have this uh, theme here. We're gonna uh, use Optimize Press 2, and I'm gonna show you usage of Optimize Press 2 in the next video. See you then.